first thing at Christmas that's such a pain to me is finding a Christmas tree. The second thing at Christmas that's such a pain to me Rigging up the lights and finding a Christmas tree. The third thing at Christmas that's such a pain to me Hangovers, rigging up the lights and finding a Christmas tree. The fourth thing at Christmas that's such a pain to me Sending Christmas cards Hangovers Rigging up the lights And finding a Christmas tree The fifth thing at Christmas that's such a pain to me Five months of bills Sending Christmas cards Hangovers Rigging up the lights And finding a Christmas tree Sixth thing at Christmas that's such a pain to me Thanks in my in-laws Five months of bills oh, I hate those Christmas cards Hangovers Breaking up these lights And finding a Christmas tree The seventh thing at Christmas that's such a pain to me Five months of bills Thanks in my in-laws Five months of bills Sending Christmas cards Oh jeez I'm trying to rig up these lights And finding a Christmas tree The eighth thing at Christmas That's such a pain to me I had red summer for Christmas Charity, so what do you mean you were in Lewis? Five months of bills Oh, making up these cards Oh, uh, Edith, get me a beer, huh? Well, we have no extension cards And finding a Christmas tree The ninth thing at Christmas that's such a pain to me Finding parking spaces Daddy, I want some candy Donations Thanks in my life Five months of bills Writing out those Christmas cards Hangovers Now why the hell are they blanking? And finding a Christmas tree The tenth thing at Christmas That's such a pain to me Barry's not included No parking spaces Buy me something Get a job, you bum <laughs> Five months of bills Yo ho, sending Christmas cards Oh jeez, look at this One light goes out, they all go out And finding a Christmas tree The eleventh thing at Christmas That's such a pain to me Still giving special Barry's not included No parking spaces Oh my God, look at the Charities She's a witch, I hate her Five months of bills Oh, I don't even know Half these people. Uh, who's got the chair that paper? Turn a flashlight on your fuse! And finding a Christmas tree. The twelfth thing at Christmas that's such a pain to me. Singing Christmas carols. Still TV special. Batteries not included. No parking. Jenny. Yeah. Gotta make them dinner. Five months of bills. I'm not thinking of this directly. Shut up, you. Fine, you're so smart, you'll wake up the lights and find me the Christmas tree. Like 
Right before Christmas, no one upset me with a big bowl of popcorn watching TV. I stretched, gave a yawn, settled back in my chair in hopes that St. Nicholson soon would be there. The children were lying awake without sleep. They'd seen all his movies. He gives them the creeps. I'd queued up Cuckoo's Nest with my trusty remote to the part where he had all the nuts on the boat. When out in the yard, there arose such a noise. I turned off the TV to see what it was. And what to my wondering eyes should approach with the Los Angeles Lakers and Pat Riley, their coach. The limo was racing, the team at its heels. That's when I saw him, the man at the wheel. He ranted and cursed, waved round his swizzle stick, and I knew in a second it must be Jack Nick. More rapid than the Celtics, these Lakers they came. He screamed like a madman and called them by name. Now Magic, now Worthy, now Scott and Kareem, on Cooper, on Rambus, and the rest of the team. Down the chimney, St. Nicholson came with a groan. Then he brushed off the soot and said, Honey, I'm home. He was wearing a trench coat with beer it was stained and a shirt clawed to shreds by Shirley MacLaine. He had a fat face and a flabby beer belly. 
from too many trips to the bar in the deli. Yeah, it's tough when an actor becomes fat and lazy. I only get calls to play weirdos and crazies. And middle-aged has-beens with washed-up careers. But I'll fix them all and play Santa this year. And with that, he buried his head in the sack and said, Let's see what you get from your old buddy Jack. A hatchet for daddy. He reared back his head. To scare all those little buggers upstairs in bed. And a stiff drink for mommy in a nice tall glass. She could really use something to kill that bug up her chimney. With a wink of his eye and a twist of his face, he threw all the stockings into the fireplace. What could I do? What could I say? What would I wear on my feet Christmas Day? I asked for a reason, and turning his head, he looked straight at me, and here's what he said. Why? Do you want to know why? Do you really want to know why, pal? I'll tell you why. When you're out Christmas shopping, you know, doing your little Christmas things with all your little Christmas friends, spreading all that Christmas cheer with those stupid Christmas songs... Did you ever stop and think of picking up a little something for old Jack? Huh? Did you ever stop to think what Jack might like for Christmas? You know, Jack from the movies, up on the big screen, pouring his heart out, giving it everything he's got, day in and day out, just trying as hard as he can to bring a tiny little bit of sunshine into your miserable little humdrum lives. Did you ever think of good old Jack, huh? For a second... No, not once. Maybe old Jack just wasn't that good, huh? Maybe I wasn't good enough and the postman always rings twice. Acting my guts out for you in that one. Cuckoo's Nest, The Shining, Witch is a freaking Eastwick, Pritchie's freaking honor. All for you, pal. Just to brighten things up for you. Not good enough, though, is it? No, you want me to brighten up the Christmas season, too, huh? Isn't that what you want, pal? Okay, let's make things real bright around here. What do you say we decorate the tree? String up these pretty lights here. Oh, she's looking brighter already. Why don't we take this cute little angel and ram her on the top branch, huh? (laughs) How about some gasoline for the whole freaking thing? I mean, let's make her just as bright as she can be. What do you say we light her up and chuck her through the old picture window here, huh, pal? No sense having a tree as bright as all that. Not giving the neighbors a chance to see, don't you think? (laughs) There, aren't you glad old Jack stopped by? (laughs) The flames towered brightly in the cold wintry sky as he made for his limo and bade his goodbye. And an age may unfold ere I fail to regret that visit from St. Nicholson, which I'd sooner forget. But I swear by the goosebumps upon my skin that I'll always remember that devilish grin and his voice crying out ere he faded from sight. Merry Christmas to all, and I hope I never see you again as long as I live for crying out loud. Like Santa Claus on Christmas As soon as I can get out on parole I'll hang out on your street Your kids I'd love to meet As soon as I get out of this rat hole 
And I won't mind just sliding down your chimney Cause I just spent 15 years of shoveling coal So I'm dressing up like Santa Claus on Christmas As soon as I can get out on parole I'm anxious to get out among the living And I'm making up a list of folks to see Beauted up in red and white Instead of these so tired Just think of how surprised they're gonna be The old old town will sure be glad to see me Cause by now it slipped their minds how much I stole And I'm dressing up like Santa Claus on Christmas As soon as I can get out on the road I'll play it boys Be on my best behavior Cause the warden's watching everything I do Thank God he didn't see That fight in cell block three Or I'd be stuck here till I'm 92 Just a few more questions from that nice committee Then through those rusty gates I'll proudly stroll Dressing up like Santa Claus on Christmas As soon as I can get out on the road Just as soon as I can get out on the road I'm home The restroom door said gentlemen So I just walked inside I took two steps and realized I've been taken for a ride. I heard high voices turned and found the place was occupied by two nuns, three old ladies, and a nurse. What could be worse than two nuns, three old ladies, and a nurse? The restroom door said, gentlemen, it must have been a gag. As soon as I walked in there, I ran into some old hag. She sprayed me with a can of mace and smacked me with her bag. I could tell this just wouldn't be my day. What can I say? It just wasn't turning out to be my day. The restroom door said, gentlemen, and I would like to find... The crummy little creep who had the nerve to switch the sign Cause I've got two black eyes and one high heel up my behind Now I can't sit with comfort and joy Boy oh boy, no I'll never sit with comfort and joy But we're illegal aliens And we really like it here Though we don't speak the language clear Foreigners Scabbing out our union What do you mean? Soviet Union? Oh, 
cross your borderlines to stand in unemployment lines. We chip in to buy a car, drive back home to get some more. Got a place I can stay on. Hey, how you doing? There is statue of a liberty. Feeds us bums who live for free. Is it for you? I'm tired and poor. When you gonna slam the door? I'm no, no, it's a long ride back. special Christmas message, the immortal Elvis. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. This here is the king. I know I haven't been around much for a while, but I want you all to know that up here in rock and roll heaven, I'll be thinking of you this Christmas. I'd like to give you all a special Christmas message, a message of peace, like, uh, how about a little piece of that pie going by? Thank you. Thank you very much. Like I was saying, Christmas is a time of hope, a time of joy, a time for loving. And I sure would love a thick slice of that feature you got there. Thank you. Thank you very much. No worry about that. Oh, yeah, Christmas. Now, Christmas to me means family. And family means friends. And friends means getting together. And getting together means eating. Oh, pass me that drumstick, would you please? Well, thank you. Thank you very much. And I just want to say to you right now, you know, I may be a big star, maybe too big, but ain't nobody so big you can't reach out a helping hand. A uh, helping uh, a hand. Uh, would you hand me a helping of those mashed potatoes over there, would you please? Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, like I was saying, ain't nobody so big you can't stoop to help a friend in need over the holiday season. Now, speaking of season, you want to pass me that salt sugar when you get the chance? Thank you. Yeah, just, just unscrew the cover. That's right. Thank you. Thank you very much. So this Christmas, why don't y'all take a tip from old Aeolus? No, no, leave those steak tips right where they are. You know what I mean? No, I appreciate it. Thank you. I want you to remember, we're all part of God's great big family. And you know God made man into his own image. And look in the mirror, I'd have to say God must be a big, big son of a gun. You know what I mean? I think he do. But I especially want y'all to remember this one last thing. When you're all at home this Christmas, stringing that popcorn up on the tree, save a big, big bowl for the king. Extra butter, know what I mean? Well, thank you, dear. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> 